Alright, well, things are quite rough. Things are quite rough. So, let's see about going through this. I don't wanna... I don't want to linger on this anymore. It was my improvisation. And what was in my heart. They also noticed that it wasn't what they had anticipated. But while I did frown, no one spoke. So, I continue. そうです。私は生きててもでも から妻に何も残っていません。どうして死なないの。さっきそう聞いた人がいました。その通りだと思います。どうして私は生きてるんでしょう。1986年に私は死んでいるはずだったんです。いえ。きっと死んだんです。なのに私の殺された魂は未だにこの肉の檻に閉じ込められている。だから誰かに求めよう。それに誰も答えてくれないなら自分で死よう。誰か私を死なせてください。I spoke that sentence, and I looked around. Dumbfounded girls, shocked girls, girls who looked like they didn't know what that what this kid was saying. And after a small delay, more and more girls with faces that said, "Is this kid all right?" Whisper, whisper, mutter, mutter, and then go, go, go. When I ordered my friends in my daydream to kill, and they couldn't do it, and so. I asked real humans to kill. But of course, these girls can't do these girls can't do it either. In other words, both daydreams and reality are the same. And doesn't it mean that everything, absolutely everything in this world included, is all a daydream? <sighs> Why don't you just stab me in the heart with a kitchen knife? After all, on that day when I lost my entire family, I already died. All the days since have been the delusions of a wrongful survival. Delusions of a life flashing before my eyes. Once I understood that, it felt like all the scenery surrounding me began to twist and bend slightly. Ah. Am I going to wake up? I'm going to be released from this world of waking dreams. I felt my consciousness sliding away. That's alright. Fade further and further away, and take me to my family. And therefore, no matter what unfolded in this twisted, faded world, I paid it no mind at all. I saw the crowd get pushed aside as the teacher stepped in. Oh? Perhaps the teacher doing the rounds happened to notice a strange disturbance. Oh, finally! 
someone else. Can they please help Angie in this? The teacher was vigorously shouting something, moving to protect me. Upon seeing that, and learning that an ally had appeared for me, even if only one, I felt my awareness return very slightly. And the only one who's the only ones who can save me in the real world are real humans. Never again. Never again will I seek salvation from daydreams. And this is the human world. The only ones who can save a human are our humans. So <sighs> done. I mean, this is something that I discussed myself before about how Angie also needs a human, f a human friend to get her through all this. And in a human world, she doesn't really have any friends. But at the same time, like I cannot agree with the idea that the entire thing was all empty to her, that the stakes in Saktaro and Maria were nothing to Angie. Like, I cannot accept that. エンジは、これで幸せになれる。エンジが、それでしか幸せになれないと信じたなら、もうそれしかない。カゴの中にいる青い鳥を、そうだと認められないなら、どこまでも探しに行かざるを得ない。マリアとエンジェはもう絶好なの。絶好なんかじゃないよ。エンジェがそれを求めたからそうしただけ。私たち魔女は時に迫害を受けるけれども。でも常にみんなの身近にある。そして、きっとそのエンジェも。また僕たちと遊んでくれる日が来る。来ないで、そのまま忘れてしまうこともあるかもしれない。人の世ではそれを成長や決別と呼ぶから。でも。If Angie just remembers, we will always be by her side. And until then, we will be waiting. Whew. Finally. Udio. Maria. Hendiste. Udio. Yapari. Bukua. Nuiguru minano. Ah. Okay, so I guess we're continuing with Maria being sad now. Oh, come on. I was thinking of a change of scenery around here a little bit, a change of atmosphere, but... Alright, hit me with what you can. Saktara looked up at Maria Selvi. Maria's face was covered with tears, and she looked as though she had even lost the emotional sadness. Ah,聞こえてるよ、サクタロ。サクタロは布と綿でできたぬいぐるみなんかじゃないよ。マリアの友達だよ。エンジェなんか嫌い。<laughs> Sakutaro felt regret. By freezing her heart, Maria had finally been able to escape from her sadness. By speaking up and calling her back, he had caused her to become overwhelmed with sadness again. Sakutaro tried 
toddling up to Maria and hugging her, then letting go, gazing at her appearance uneasily and trying it again, lost as to how he could bring Maria's spirits up. He might have looked a little humorous doing that. As a result, I was able to divert Maria's feelings from sadness. Alright, well, just to distract myself a little bit from the sadness of the moment, uh, I would like to bring up this topic that I've been thinking of and has been brought up at some points in regards to the events over here. Like, I can see some people can be confused about this sort of stuff because here's a perfect example. Maria over here is really sad about the events of, um, of Angie being bullied by the schoolgirls. But at the same time, this looks as if Maria is still alive, that this happened before the murder of Kenjima. But we can pretty much say, yeah, I mean, yeah. the moment with Angie being bullied by the schoolgirls and Angie having a breakdown and lashing her anger out at uh, the stakes and Saktar and Maria, that surely would have happened after uh, the murder of Kenjima. So. This is this can be a little bit confusing, but at the same time, I don't know. I a part of me is starting to think that maybe time is irrelevant in this. Like ever since uh, the idea of how the game boards are happening outside of time is starting to make me question if time consistency and ordered of events, at least in the past, that is, like outside the game board, like what we're showing, we're showing over here, ordered of events doesn't really matter, like we just keep jumping from one point to another, like there is some coherence, but at the same time, I feel like the idea is that what is shown to us is more important than, like, like, uh, the order of events that would, that would show to you, like, at face value. Because... Nah, I don't know. All I'm saying is that maybe time and consistency of order doesn't really matter. At this point, it's not really a priority of mine. It's something that I do not bother with that much. Like, I think that what is important is what the, um, what Maria and Angie are going through, despite the settings and all that. Like, I'm sorry if, um, if I'm not making that much sense in what I'm saying over here, like, I'm not coherent enough in, when you're talking about this sort of stuff, but... Eh, okay, let's continue. Maria looked at the many stuffed animals around her pillow, which were gathered together as though they were having a conference. Everyone was エンジェみたいにいなくならない。ならないよ。僕たちはいつだって一緒だよ。本当に桜太郎たちは家でしか一緒じゃないよ。ママと一緒にお出かけできないし、学校にも一緒に行けないよ。僕たちは学校に行っ
いっぱいいるよポケットに入りきらないよ She gathered all the four spent pieces that were scattered across her bed. There were about as many of them as pieces in a chest set. So it'd probably be impossible to fit them all in her pocket. Oh, at least some. Nara, Tokuni Nakayoshi no Tomodachi da Keo Tsurete Iku to Iyo. Mori no Ongak Tai no Naka de Ichiban Maria to Nakayoshi no Usagi no Yoningu Mio Tsurete Iku to Iyo. The rabbits. よつならポケットに入る。はあ。これなら見つからないね。だからマリアはこれで学校でも一人ぼっちじゃないよ。僕が一緒に行けないところでもこの子たちなら一緒にいてくれるよ。うん。Like I'm thinking maybe Like I was thinking before. Uh, again, I'm I'm distracting myself just so that I don't have to think of the sadness of the moment over here. But um, like I was thinking that the Chister sisters are part of maybe Eva's childhood. That in similar fashion to Saktaro, Eva created the Chister sisters for like herself. Yeah, just so that um, she would have new friends and such. I won but I wonder if if that's not the case. Maybe not it's not Eva, but Maria. The Chister sisters were created by, by by Maria too. And two of the four rabbits over here are Chister 410 and 45. And two of the Chisters we've already seen thus far. Would that imply that we're gonna see more of them? Like are there only four or there are going to be more. Nara, Savishka Naikamo. Hotini Kate Kurumade, come on, the Kirukamo. Mama to Sensei Nisa, Mitskaranakereba, Boktachiwa, it's that they should need a redunda. Sashte, it's a madam, we should need you. A Sunday, you. Boktachiwa, Maria, the tiny story botching in Casasenaikara. Uria. Marie's expression finally regained a little bit of its brightness. And that's right. Thinking about it, my role didn't start out with Angie in it. Even without Angie, everyone was together and it was fun. So it's weird to suddenly get sad just because Angie is gone when she was the last to come in. All that happened is that I returned to the world right before Angie entered it. That is sad though. It's not, it's not something that, that can easily be brushed off. I mean, I can definitely tell that, that Angie and Maria had a lot of fun time. Like, even if, even in speaking in human claim, back when Angie was six, they definitely played together at some point. So there's nothing to be sad about. <sighs> so, in that sense, I guess I could say that Angie was Maria's friend, not just in a magical sense, but in the human sense as well, in the human world and the magical world, and... I think that has a lot more, like a lot more power. Not saying that I'm dismissing the magical component, but when you combine combine that with a human component, that's that's really important in my eyes. Maria, <laughs> もう人間なんかにマリアの世界には誰も立ち入らせないよ。マリアジソルシエルはマリアとベアトリーチェだけの二人きりの同盟。マリアだ。That's。I'm gonna have to disagree with the notion of no longer allowing humans into your own world. 
I... I think you're saying this because you're being affected by Angie leaving the Alliance and all that. You, you shouldn't really think of it that way. I mean, I think it's good that you're letting humans into your own world as well. I think it's beautiful. Again, I'm definitely gonna have to have like a discussion with Beato, like later. I, I'm gonna have a word or two with her. エンジェのことはまた仲良しになれるまで当分を忘れていていいと思うよ。マリアがまた元気を取り戻せたら一緒に遊べばいいよ。それまで僕たちみんながずっとそばにいるからね。ありがとう。さくたろ。みんな。<
you from one way you look at Maria as a sad, like lonely person, but at the same time it's not gonna stay like that forever. That's for sure. Again, I'm not making I'm not being coherent right now, but Yeah. Maria began to line up for ceramic rabbit dolls on the register. As the owner of the shop looked at them with a smile, he signaled the part-timer with his chin. The sign on the other register that said close was taken down, and the part-timer called out for everyone to move over there. All the people in line behind Maria formed a new line over there instead. So, so. ママ Usagi-no-naki-goe-te-kyu-kyu-da-ta-ke. Yeah. And also, Nye? Hate, who was poking his head out of her knapsack, she played around with a rabbit band on the register, making them frolic around. Even as he gazed at his hard one inside, the shop manager had a slightly pitying look on his face. Mm. And this was apparently a family without father, and where the mother had to work hard and couldn't come home very often. On top of that, it looked like this girl didn't even have any friends. As he watched this girl play around happily with her dolls and claim that she wasn't lonely despite everything, he couldn't help but feel a kind of compassion. Mm. Actually, this wasn't limited to him alone. Maria had become very famous in this shopping district. Maria chan, tama ni wa oden mo tabe nasai. Tamago to ka nerimono to ka tabe nai to ookiku nare nai yo. Oh, cream pan ja dame. Uryu, iroiro tabe nai to ookiku nare nai yo. Kyo wa oden ni shio. Oden. Oh. Yeah, oh then. <laughs> Although I won't like you are definitely gonna have to boil that like really hard. I mean you know what they say. Odin isn't Odin if it isn't boiled. <laughs> My god, one piece. She had planned on getting some sweet pastries for dinner like usual, but since Odin had been recommended to her, she would be having that tonight instead. Letting someone else determine the menu makes for an unexpected and interesting meal. Very often. I had to decide on her own what to have for dinner, so it was easy for the menu to get a little one-sided. So it felt fun to look forward to a meal she hadn't anticipated. <laughs> okay, I am thinking of something over here. About how it was said that Maria is very well known in the shopping district. And Surely, a lot of a lot of customers know, and especially the manager and all that. I like to think that in some events that we are not seeing over here, but in some events, the the usual customers and the manager are always helping Maria in their own way whenever they meet. Like for example, the manager. Like right over here. We see the manager picking the menu for Maria. As if... Well, basically like, like the father that Maria never had. Basically. 
<laughs> picking the food that that Maria should have for dinner. Like, you know, like an adult would, like a father would, like picking the food that to let their child eat and such. In a sense, I can definitely see the manager as being her father and her friend as well. So that's that is a lovely thought. I mean I guess I guess from a game's perspective that surely won't bring that much importance later because we don't see the manager with his own sprites. It doesn't seem that the manager is gonna have like any high importance in being like a new friend or like a new father to Maria and all that, but nonetheless, it is a nice thought. Alright, well, thank you. Maria held a bag with all them container high for all to see. Standing in front of the door to her house, Maria searched and padded all over her body. And the key to the house wasn't there. Oh no. Maria, she always methodically put it in the same pocket. So there was no way she had put it in another pocket. But she searched her whole body just in case. Hmm. I wonder if uh, you accidentally left the key at uh, like at the shop, at the manager, because maybe, maybe you put uh, your your friends in the same pocket that you have the key, and when you picked your friends out of your pocket, you also had to pick the key out, and maybe you accidentally left uh, the key on the table. Which now would totally not be good. In which case we would definitely have to go back to the shop and get Maria's keys. That or maybe you left it inside the house? Although that wouldn't really make sense. Because, well, it wouldn't be cl Like, how would you close the door behind you if you didn't have the keys with you at the same time? So, hmm. It really wasn't there. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe you definitely felt it when you took the wall tiles, and you definitely felt it when you checked the pocket on the way home. Okay, well, this doesn't make sense. The late autumn wind had been made bearable by the thought of the heater that was waiting at home. Like, I don't know. I could I could just break the wind. Nah. Like, if I were to break the window, that would that would surely make Rosa mad. Like, I am good at going through windows, breaking through windows, defenestrating myself, and just just open the door for you. But now that Maria had lost her key and had no idea what to do, she was really feeling it. But no matter how hard she searched, she couldn't find her key. She turned out all her pockets, and even tried taking off her jacket and hitting it, but to no avail. Alright, well, it's okay. Maria, like, this sort of stuff happens. Hell, even adults have this sort of problem once in a, once in a blue moon. <laughs> like, it happens. People mm, don't pay attention. At times, it's not your fault. Like, it happens. Of course, she also turned the knapsack Sartara was in a sub upside down. But no key came out. <coughs> Something that should have been there wasn't where it was supposed to be. Why isn't the key there when I didn't do anything wrong? Why isn't it? Why? Why? 
Money is stamped on the ground, cold and frustrated and angry. The ball on her foot dropped. The ball on her foot dropped. But even so, they didn't listen to her frustration. For far long, her tears were pouring down her face. It wasn't her fault. So it was someone else's. Maria didn't know who that someone was, and could do nothing but continue to let out a moan of anger. Oh, it's not too late. Well, we can definitely find a way inside and eat that stuff. We just need to think carefully and see where the key is. Maria, yeah. No need to pin the blame on yourself. Maria finally lent an ear to Sakta's words and began to plot back the way she came. The wind was colder than it had been, and it felt like it was blowing in through the gaps in her jacket to spite her. そして早くお家に帰って暖房で温まりながらおでんを食べよう。きっと美味しいよ。うう。ない。うう。ない。I encouraged her. Maria searched for the key. And we also have going to have to be careful. I mean, this is I mean, it's night. It can be very dangerous. But she made it all the way back to the convenience store where she'd brought the golden. She hadn't found it. Okay, well, let's ask the manager, in that case. Just in case. She asked the man at the convenience store whether they had found the dropped key. But they hadn't found anything. One more time, she returned home, paying close attention to the area around her feet. But still, she didn't find it. She was no longer frustrated enough to stomp her feet. Her hot tears dripped down her face. And the oven was stop stone cold. You know the man that the shop had said to eat it while it was hot, she hadn't been able to. Yeah, given her so much extra stuff for free. <laughs> Maria was no longer able to hold back her tears. Sobbing, clutching Sakutaro, and with the olden bag in her hand, she returned once more down the road she had come by. Perhaps it was now later at night, and more houses and stores had turned their lights off by now. It was even darker and harder to search than before. And, once again, without finding a key, she returned to the convenience store. Maria-chan, not No, that is bullshit. We're gonna do exactly that. Or maybe the manager can help you with that. Public image. Now come on. It's not it's not the end of the road over here. I mean we can we can totally get some help here. It doesn't you don't have to do this all yourself. Like we can do this. It was probably because Rosa felt guilty for making such a young girl as Maria watch over the house by herself. And because she knew that this was not socially acceptable. 
Yeah, well... I mean, even if uh, it also were to go for something like this, being questioned by the police and the manager of why she is letting a young child go to the store like at night like this, it's it's definitely not going to be good for Rosa, for Rosa's quote unquote public image or something like that. And afterwards, Rosa is definitely going to punish Maria for being for. Um, for letting this happen in the first place, which is really bad. I do not like that. So, she had indoctrinated Maria into changing the stores she brought things at, so that she didn't catch her the eyes of adults, and saying no more than a greeting to policemen, even if they talked to her. Maria had ability done as she was told. Instead of considering why she had to do that, Honestly, obeying because of her mother had told her so was far more important to her. But the manager of the convenience store probably didn't think of it that way. Naturally, seeing such a young girl being forced to watch over the house alone and so frequently could cause anyone to worry. Indeed. And then, after making the round trip between her home and the store once more and arriving at the convenience store for a third time, a policeman was there. <laughs> The policeman asked her name, but Maria didn't answer. お嬢ちゃんはお仕事。お母さんの会社の連絡先 she didn't understand why the policeman was getting mad at her. No, he probably wasn't getting mad at her, but if this reached her mother's ears, she would definitely be in trouble. <sighs> like, Rosa should not be angry at this whatsoever. She should be worried that uh, the edgy went through something like this in the first place, and she should reassure that it isn't Maria's fault. She should definitely not be angry at Maria for for this happening. Like, it happens. It happens for someone like Maria to lose something. I mean, Mar Rosa should be worried about the thought of how Maria would be stuck outside her house for the entirety of night. Not worry about Maria getting the help of the police to get inside her house in the first place, where she is safe. But the policeman wouldn't let Maria go, and her head was swimming from hunger. The policeman noticed that, and it was decided that he could talk as they ate in the police box. I was taken to the police box. I had my oven heated in the microwave oven, and there were even and there were even salty rice cakes and hot tea brought out for me. Shioda Ifuku. I've been told not to talk to policemen. But as I answered questions about Taktaro, I started to feel like he wasn't a bad person, and I wouldn't be able to return home anyway, so I didn't know what to do, so I told him Mama's work phone number, which I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, and was told to use only in a very, very serious situation. Well, this is a very serious, serious situation. And I thought I knew him inside the police box. As I ate the old and that was so hot, it felt like it would burn me. I watched the policeman making the phone call, and Leslie thought, uh, I'm probably going to get in trouble. Maria, Mama ni kana? She should not be. Maria. He must have been listening to the phone ringing for a very long time. With the receiver up to his ear, the policeman looked up at the clock and grumbled. Mm. Ah. Mushi, mushi. Mushi, mushi. 
有限会社アンチローザさんでこちら小松川警察署千本桜駅前交番でございますえー、っと右大官じゃないや後宮社長さんはいらっしゃいますかはいえ休暇中はい社長は昨日から3日間休暇になってますあのどういったご用件で<笑>あいやいやいやえー、それでどちらにおられるかわかりますかね連絡先とか聞いてたりしませんかねあーちょっとお待ちいただいてよろしいですかねえ誰か社長の旅行先聞いてる連絡先パレスト札幌カニ食い放題って聞きましたいいな寒いとこだと自然と二人の距離も縮まるのよね連絡先は聞いてないようん了解あーもしもし札幌に行ってるそうですけど連絡先まではちょっとわかりませんご伝言しますかうーんそうですかまいったなじゃあもし連絡がつきましたらこちらから電話があったとお伝えできますかええはいはい。I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what Rosa told, told Maria, that she is at work, like working hard, when in actuality she's doing something else, enjoying herself, while Maria is lonely over here. But, you know, what with、um, the first father, who more than likely disappeared like a long time ago, or is dead, or I'm not really sure. But the point is, Rosa does need someone in her life in a romantic way. She does need someone that she can love and, you know, maybe have like a new father for Maria. So, in that way, maybe it's not, it's not something that you can mad, be mad at Rosa for. I mean, it certainly can be difficult. For Rosa to talk about this sort of stuff in front of Maria. But I still stand by the idea that if Rosa were to find this out, she should not be mad at Maria. Like at all. And she said to me, a poor thing. When I heard that, I learned for the first time. Maria, the. Kawai so that t o n ウリュウそんなことないよマリアは幸せほうあんつマロザケンバックマリアは言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと She hid by the entrance to the living room and listened in on the exchange. The person who had come to visit was a female district welfare officer who had asked Maria various questions the other day. So you are Skiwa Komarimasu! Maria was a girl who 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 was a なんで一人で家に放置しておくのお母さんが一緒にいてあげるべきなんじゃないですかなるべく一緒にいるようにしていますそんなことあなたに指図される覚えはありませんそうですかこの辺のご近所ではとても有名ですよお宅のお嬢さんが夜頻繁に買い物や食事に来るって
みんな気にしてて気を使ってくれてたんですよどうしてうちの子だとわかるんですか子供なんて町中にいくらでもいるじゃないですか勝手にうちのマリアだと決めつけないでください夜に出歩く子供だってたまにはいるでしょうそれらが全てうちの子だという証拠でもあるんですかライオンのぬいぐるみを抱いた女の子がよく夕食を食べに来る買いに来るって And well she is easily recognizable Like if you If the police were to like Interrogate like multiple multiple witnesses With that same kind of description You cannot deny that that was Maria True マリアはマリアは私の子です。私が育ててます。おかしな施設に入れるつもりもまるでありません。余計なお世界はやめて。No, you're not. You should not be in trouble here in the first place. Maria hugs Saktaro, continuing to watch her mother fearfully. I Maria together私は that's not what the people at your company said. They said that you were with some form of boyfriend as well. I mean, you're basically lying over here about being at work all the damn time. <sighs> どうしてそんな嘘つくの you know, it would be easy if you were to tell Maria this, like yourself. Like, it would be hard for Maria to imagine, but you have to be honest with your child. With your child. And what's worse is that you're leaving her alone. Like, I cannot believe that I haven't really thought of this before, but how about bringing in a nanny for for Maria? Like, if you were to go by yourself, whether you're working or have like a vacation for yourself, for yourself, at least have a nanny. Like, get yourself a nanny for Maria just so that Maria wouldn't be alone and thus uh, she wouldn't be put in situations like this and making her worry and all that. At least you would have like an adult watch Maria, even if you, Rose, are not there. どうしてそんなでたらめ言うの Rosa raged, her hair flying wildly. She stood up with such force that her teacup fell over. 
and far louder than that noise was the sound of her beating the table with both hands. When faced with this rage that could accurately be described as wide-eyed derangement, the female officer, the female welfare officer couldn't help but be taken aback. I mean, realistically, for someone like this officer to see, I mean, this would be like a red flag for for some other people to come in and take Maria away from Rosa, since this is definitely not like a safe environment for, for Maria like whatsoever. Since not only is um, Maria being like lonely and, and all, but in the eyes of the officer, like Rosa is that doesn't really have like a healthy mind, which is definitely not safe for a child like Maria. You could definitely tell them that Maria is in danger with a with a woman like Rosa. So yeah, this would be one of those situations where Maria would basically be taken away from Rosa. And the same went for Maria, who was secretly watching this from the hallway. She had seen her mother in rage several times before. She had never seen her go this berserk with anger. Saying this, Maria was sure this was no longer her mother. It was some other evil being that was possessing her mother's body. And then, the evil being discovered her. Maria learned that she was being reflected in the evil being's eyes. Her mind went black, and she felt as though her field of vision was racing off into the distance. After fiercely closing in on Maria, Rosa mercilessly bore down on her small shoulders and dropped her gaze onto the stuffed animal Maria was holding, Saptaro. Maria, Hanata, Hare da ke o soto ni sore o motte itcha dame te itta no ni. Motte itta no ne. Uriu. Rosa, do not be mad at Maria. Ma Maria wa waruku nai yo. I mean, is it truly Maria's fault that she's being lonely and she wanted to bring Saktaro with her? Can you really fault Maria for this? The brunt of Rosa's anger was aimed, not at Maria, but at the lion stuffed animal Maria was holding. The girl came shopping in the middle of the night, always clutching on a lion stuffed animal. Because of that, she had become well known in the shopping district. <laughs> With every single word, she stamped her heel and banged furiously on the wall. Admittedly, she wasn't making direct contact with Maria. However, the violence of that harsh sound certainly beat against her. Yeah, I was about to say, what is, what is the female officer doing right now? The welfare officer had come back to her senses and put Rosa in a full Nelson. But the instant Rosa was touched, she went wild, fiercely throwing the welfare officer off. She hit the table and fell to the ground. A teacup on the table smashed on the floor, making a violent sound. If, so, if it is someone's fault, it is Rosa's fault. Maria 
あんたさっきから何をやってるのあんたそのお人形さんごっこ外でもやってたのお店の人の前でもやってたの<笑>だから覚えられちゃうんでしょ少しは考えろこのバカなんであんたはそう大バカなのよ OK that's it you're you're being a huge asshole here Rosa 正直におっしゃいなお外でお買い物をするときママに内緒でいつもそのぬいぐるみを持ち歩いてたのねウリウその変なぬいぐるみ語をやめなさいぬいぐるみじゃなくあなたの言葉で喋りなさいサクタロはぬいぐるみじゃないよマリアの友達だよぬいぐるみって言わないで言わないではいはい分かったわサクタロだったわね名前ママに内緒でそのサクタロ人形を持っていつもお買い物に行っていたのねマリア、admitted in honesty. And she had admitted it, then Sakutaro would have said something to take the blame. So, by admitting it right away, she was protecting her small friend. Sakutaro, だけ他にはまさか学校にも何か変なのを持って行ってるんじゃないでしょうねお母さんお嬢さんは悪くないでしょう Indeed. そのキスもおやめなさいあんたは黙ってなさい私と娘の話でしょほらマリアママの目を見て話をしなさいママの質問にお返事はおおお Now you know what? マリア you, you should not answer It was a question over here you, you don't have to サクタロウだけじゃないのウサギのみんなも一緒今も持ってるのマリアフィッシュラウンドのポケットにプロドスフォーサーラビッツウィルタニアンラビッツウィルプレシャスフランスウィルゴトスクウィルインサクタラスプレイスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴトスウィルゴト To try to prevent this. Rosa had dismissed the teacher's comment as fault finding, and on the contrary, had phoned the school to make a complaint of her own, saying that there was no way her child would bring toys to school. For nearly an hour, she had shouted at the vice principal to stop making false accusations about her daughter. To a certain degree, the school grasped that Maria was a pitiful girl. They knew that the small toys she brought in were her only friends. So they have done their best to overlook it. Yeah, I mean, I've, even the school sees the situation a lot better than Rosa can. But when the other students caused inside of them, some of the boys started complaining that, only she, that only she was allowed to bring toys, and the school had racked their brains on how to cope with this. They had tried to gently send a warning by way of the, of the mother. But after Rosa's overreaction, even Maria's teacher had decided to overlook it. But now Rosa knew. She had been the one who was wrong. And her daughter really had been bringing toys into school. And the school had seen the sorry sight of her bringing toys into school and playing with them as her own friends. To Rosa, who knew her daughter was a little different from normal children, having this peculiar sight of her daughter exposed and found fault with was more unbearable than anything. So she howled. She raged. The alpha officer tried to cut between Rosa and Maria again. But she only met with Rosa's wrath again. But Rosa once again threw the room and off with a face like a demon. And when even that failed to curb her anger, she stomped on the ground over and over again so forcefully that it seemed she might break through the floor. Then, after seeming to come back to her senses for just a second, she suddenly froze her rough breathing. And that's Maria. Maria, so no Usagi no Ongak Taiwa. Maria, no Taisa na Otomodachi. So, 
She said that Rosa took one of the rabbits from Maria's hand. Rosa, don't you even dare. Don't you even go that route. Then she shoved in, in front of Maria's eyes so she could see it very well. It was a cute little dome, like a chess piece, of a rabbit holding a trumpet. She slowly lifted it into the air. Of course, Maria's and Saktaro's eyes also followed it. And then, with a speed that the eye couldn't follow, she hurled it against the wall. Ah. She had half imagined that this worst possible thing might happen. So she instantly realized what had been done. So Maria let out a short, despairing scream. He was in pieces. He had been small and sturdy, but not enough to accept her mother's fierce rage. Seriously? You're seriously going that route? So you're never gonna question that this is all your fault? For... for all this? Well... I guess it is to be expected. Rosa is the way she is, doing stupid stuff like this, and then apologizing, and then over and over and over. You are making things worse for Maria, Rosa. You are making things worse. You are breaking her soul here with this stuff. マリアが傷つく。私も傷ついているのよ。私の傷は誰が責任取ってくれるのよ。え、誰があんたは黙っててって言ってるでしょ。いや、やめてママ。悪いのはマリア。おばさんを怒らないで。マリアは悪くないよ
you just don't get it. That she's thinking of Sakutaro as someone precious to her. Not just because of some delusion that you think Maria is making. That this is a connection to you, Rosa. That she loves you, goddammit. And what you're doing, you're destroying the one thing that, that you have given her. You've given her that out of love and you're forgetting about it. Frantic request just added oil to the fire of Mama's anger. As I pulled on Sakutaro trying to take him back, Mama pushed my arm aside. And in a bizarre way, she stuck her fingernails on both hands deep into Sakutaro, twisting him. The red scarf, which I had carefully wrapped for him every day, came undone and fell to the floor. Sakutaro. Had been so, so precious to me. He was crumpled, twisted, torn at with fingernails so much. He was twisted in pain, his face grimacing, so sadly. My mama's fingernails found a stitch on that neck and tore it. Oh god. The fingernails of both hands, she tore him apart. In an instant, Sakutaro's yellow cloth and the cotton inside burst apart. It looked almost like moist cotton candy. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Rosa. You just couldn't get any worse than this. Congratulations, Rosa. No only did you kill Saktaro like right in front of the child's eyes over here. But you basically destroyed the one precious thing that you have given her. She valued Saktaro a lot because she came from you, Rosa. And now you tore that apart. Crumpled yellow cloth and the cotton candy that was flowing out were thrust right in front of my eyes. Then, from Mama's face, the evil being stated clearly. Sakutaro was dead. Maria, Maria, Nakundenai. Beatrice, Beatrice. Sakutaro wa yoki yujin de atta. Sonata ga sore o wasure nu kagiri. Tsune ni sonata to tomo ni aru. Dakara. なくんでない。生き返らせて。ベアと、いろんな魔法が使えるんだもんね。サクタロだって生き返らせられるよね。あ、それは無論サクタロウがわらわの家具だったならそれも絶やすい。しかしサクタロウはそなたの家具だ。
実はな作太郎の頼四郎はローザの手作りのぬいぐるみであったろうそのローザが作太郎を否定した母にその性を許されなかった命は存在できぬのだ Beatrice's words were feeble because she knew that no matter what the excuse, it wouldn't be enough to call Maria and make her accept it. But she had to communicate the painful truth to her disciple and close friend.、Hmm. Well, I think, I think it is a good thing that you said that, Beatrice. Especially good since you're not gonna you're not gonna tell Maria to kill Rosa and all that. Not just that, but. In a way, it's not something that can easily be fixed. This is something that Maria is gonna have to go through herself as well, to fight through this as well. So. I don't know. I hope that you, Beatrice, can help Maria with this. She had to tell her the fact that even with all her own magic, even she could not revive Saktaro. So, not a Saktaro, no son, I o t to you, Sinjir Kagiri, so not a Masi, got Kia Sarukoto, and I. Dakara Maria, Doka Kanasimuna. Ima Mohora, Sugu Soko de Saktaro, got Hoho and the Ruto, Sinjir Noda. きらめよ。サクタロウよみがえらせる魔法はない。そして、それでもなおサクタロウがそなたの親友であり続けることを強く信じよ。その力が、魔法となる。そんなの魔法じゃない魔法じゃないサクタロウが生き返らなきゃ嫌だママの手作りだからダメなのママはサクタロウを作ったのマリアにプレゼントするためじゃないのマリアのお友達にするためじゃないのなのになんでママは自分で作って自分で壊したのどうしてママは自分で産んで自分で壊そうとするのわかんないわかんないママが憎いよママが憎い悔しい悔しい悲しい悲しい作太郎がそうされたようにママをねじり上げてやりたい爪を立てて引き裂いて布地と綿にしてやりたいうわしいよ悔しいよベアトリージェサクタロー From the darkness behind Maria's back, two master jet black arms crept out, coiling around Maria as she sobbed in anger. And then massive fingernails stuck into Maria's chest and stomach. Maria could not see them, but Beato could. Anger and sadness without any place to go will tear you apart. Beato、uh, knew that. She could see that.、Yeah. In the end, those massive bones were Maria's own. And those fingernails slowly start to dig into her chest and stomach. With their immense size and strength, those arms would probably tear Maria into bits easily. But Maria herself couldn't notice. Joining in a sea of her own tears, she couldn't notice that her own arms were trying to tear apart her own chest. Maria, 
同じ目に合わせてやりたい作太郎と同じ目に合わせてやりたいのペアドリーチェそのための魔法を教えてママをやっつける魔法を教えてその言葉は本心だママを殺す殺してやるうんあれはママじゃないよママに取り付いた悪い魔女だママの魔女を殺してやるビアトリス do not do not go with what Maria is feeling over here You know very well that this is not the dark path. I mean, I hope you do. Yokaro. <sighs> Peato. So no chikaro. So nata ni atae yo. Kokoro utsukushiki so nata ni. Mizukara ni hiki sakareru kurai na. So nata ni so no kurushimi o atae ta. Kokoro naki haha koso. Yo hodo hiki sakareru ni atae suru. 教えようぞ魔女の世界を光り差すことなき深淵の奥底を<笑>サクタロサクタロ<笑>みんな嫌い嫌い大嫌いママも嫌いエルジャも嫌いみんなみんな大嫌い<笑>